Hi, this is China Doll. You are watching Concrete Music TV. What's the biggest misconception that people see in you? Biggest misconception is, I think, is my looks. You know, um, I'm pretty much, I have a lot of tattoos. So when they look at me, probably they don't look at me because I'm not your typical, I would say, you know, within my race, I'm not a typical Asian. So I look different. So when they look at me, probably they think, probably they think I'm stuck up, but when they meet me, it totally just changed because, you know, you need to get to know me first. So it's mostly my looks, I'll say. How do you feel about nudity in pictures? Would you do any in the near future? No. <laughs> At this time, no. Well, for me, I don't, you know, I don't judge other models if, for me, nudity is basically a form of art. It just depends on, you know, it depends on the model if you're willing to go to that level. But there's definitely, you know, nothing wrong with it. It's a form of art and, you know, I actually admire them, but, but for me at this time, uh, me and my management were not even close to, you know, going to that route. How can fans reach out to you? through my management, which is Q's Flavors Management, and of course on Twitter. Recently I interviewed him and he's very detailed about his management company. How did you choose him above everyone else? Well, he's very, very, we'll say, not, well he's known. <laughs> And he's pretty much, I look at Q when I first talk to him, he knows what he's talking about, he knows what he's doing. So, and that trust and um, like relationship, I, I felt like we connected right away. And I heard a lot of good things about him. A lot of inquiring guys, since they saw you in Naked Hustle magazine, they want to know, are you single and available? Of course, <laughs> I'm single. What was that? You haven't found the right person yet? No, not yet. I'm not, I'm not in no rush, but... <laughs> what kind of guy could catch your attention? Well, obviously for, you know, the first thing is, well, when it comes to looks, you know, I need to be attracted to that person, but definitely I need somebody who can, you know, hold himself, you know, down, which, which just needs to be responsible. So that's the first thing that I kind of you know, look into when I try to get to know a person. And what are your measurements? My measurements is 36C, 25, 36. Very small frame. Yes, <laughs> very small. I actually, I've been working on my weight for so long and I dropped, we'll say a good amount of pounds within the last year. Any aspiring model that is watching this right now and wants to be in the limelight like you, what advice can you give to them? Well, my advice is basically just, you know, for me, very important is follow your heart. If you want to do something, you just have, you have to put your all into it. And when you say that, you have to do it. So you just can't say things, but you have to basically, you know, you have to put work. <laughs> when you put work, hard work pays off, and that's just how it goes. And how important is your heritage to you? Very, very important. I'm very, very proud to be half Chinese, half Filipino. Um, I actually grew up, um, when I was young, you know, I grew up on my Chinese side more, and it was when I was growing up, I actually get, got the chance to spend time with my mother, which is, she's full Filipino. And so, it's more like, I'm very, very, um, my background with both race, very, very strong. So, their beliefs, pretty much everything. So I'm not only, you know, I, it's not like I'm more Chinese, or I'm more Filipino. I'm proud that I am both. Any 
any last words you want to leave with us? My last words is, well, I want to thank you for the great interview. And we do have a lot of projects coming up. And, you know, just basically stay tuned.